I've been looking over this large collection of magnets that I inherited from my brother, wondering what I could make with them. I was inspired by Carl Bugea's Flapping Butterfly project and wanted to see whether I could animate paper wings in a similar manner using magnet wire. The hand wound coil had to be made as light as possible so it is just two pieces of cardboard glued together. I used clear nail acrylic to stop the coil and winding by itself when left alone. A cardboard box made from ready meal packaging encloses the coil and provides places to mount the permanent magnets. I used a pair of N42 magnets on either side of the coil and oriented so that they are repelling each other. Originally I tried hooking up a 555 timer directly to the gate of an N channel MOSFET to switch the high current required to move the coil. I think a high voltage inductive spike might have killed the 555. So I'm now using a PC817 optocoupler in the gate driver. This will allow microcontrollers such as this microbit to safely switch the current to energize the coil. I found this simple electromagnetic mechanism can only animate very light paper shapes, stuff that doesn't have much mass to it. And you cannot really use very strong adhesives as they offer too much resistance to motion. The heart shape had to be cut down the middle and then reassembled using two thin strips of tape. This was easier to bend than a long paper crease. Some future ideas worth pursuing. Use a supercapacitor to to deliver the short pulse of high current to the coil. Flip the arrangement by putting a small magnet on the hinged flap between two stationary coils and hooking up a pulse meter to the beating heart.